What's going on? Real quick video. Uh, I didn't realize the fight was tonight. Seriously, I didn't realize the fight was tonight. Uh, Eris Landy lower against Canelo Alvarez. I thought about doing this video about three weeks ago, and then uh, I had complications on the cell phone. I got to do it on the laptop, and I don't like the pitch quality. But that's all technical stuff that really don't matter. Um, I just saw my man over there at uh, 78 uh, Fight TV put four stacks on the fight. That made my heart hurt. He put four stacks on the fight. And, uh, man, that's some confidence right there. Like, this fight is a 50-50 fight to me. It can't, I, I couldn't put four stacks on the fight when it's 50-50, but that's just me. You know, it's 50-50 because I see it differently than some people, and some people might see it my way. But overall, hmm, it makes you say, hmm. Um, I'm going to put it to you like this. Uh, I think Canelo's going to win this fight. Um, and I'm not just picking favoritism. I know the capabilities of Canelo Alvarez. I mean, not Canelo Alvarez, but uh, Eris Landy Laura. I've been following him for years, especially since uh, that fight he had with uh, Paul Williams. And I, I'm one of the people that felt like he got robbed in that fight, regardless of the big hematoma, big hematoma that he had on his head from a, a head, headbutt. Um, Eris Landy Laura is an excep exceptional fighter in that weight class. Um, he's comfortable fighting off his back foot, which he does for the most of the part. Even though he fights off his back foot, he's not to me the 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 classic the classic uh, what's the word counter puncher because even fighting off his back foot, he likes to be first. He'll he'll throw that jab out to you and try to stick it in your face real quick. Um, so so that makes it a big difference. He's just not a counter puncher, but. Canelo Alvarez is a different type of monster that he has faced. He's a, a fighter that can't fight off his back foot. He's also a fighter that could come in and be a, and put on bully tactics. So the question is, what Canelo, what can Canelo Alvarez do to negate what Ellis Landy Laura is going to do? And it took me back to, it took me back to Canelo Alvarez fighting two fighters when he fought. Uh, when he fought Mayweather, and when he also fought uh, Ben Drinking, so I can't even think of his name right now. Um, what's his name? What's his name? Uh, got it. You you know who the guy I'm talking about? The guy that that beat the guy that beat uh, uh Miguel Cotto and lost to Canelo Alvarez. Um. I can't believe I can't think of his name right now, but uh, I'm going to move on from that. Uh, what really went on in that fight against him and Canelo Alvarez showed me one thing. Yes, Canelo starts off slow. Yes, uh, Canelo was trying to do some head movement. Bob and we trying to work his way in. But he put, the guy was putting in so much punch volume in to keep Canelo on the outside, it, to a degree, tired him up. Um, when it comes to Alessandro Laura, he doesn't put out that type of, that high, high punch volume. Yes, Alessandro Laura beat him. Yes, Alessandro Laura likes to be first, but he doesn't put out that type of punch volume. And we, under, I understand that dude put out that punch volume being a counterpuncher to keep Canelo off of him and to try to do his work. But Ellis Landy Lohr has never showed in a fight that he will put out that type of punch ball. And then when it comes to Canelo Alvarez fighting uh, Floyd Mayweather Jr., it's a story of the faints. Nobody faints like Mayweather. Like Mayweather get up in his Philly shell and he'll flick his wrist he will jerk, he will move, he will jerk, giving somebody the, the, the thought that he's about to punch because, you know, this is a split-second business. A flinch could be a punch. If you don't go into your guard quick enough, you can get hit. So a lot of the times where he's fight, uh, fighting Floyd Mayweather, he'll, he'll freeze, thinking Mayweather wasn't going to punch. 
realized me wasn't going to punch, relax, and then be able to pop, shot him. Bam! Hit him. Ellis Landy Lord really doesn't do that. He really is more of one of those guys that he just guides. I mean, he, he, just, he just glides. He moves consistently. He moves consistently to try to give you angles, uh, make it harder for those uh, punch angles, which won't, in my in my line of thought, that's not is going to make Canelo Alvarez flinch. It's going to be more on him trying to get his timing together. So I think he's going to punch a lot more in this fight compared to when he fought uh, Floyd Mayweather Jr. He's going to punch a lot more because he's not going to be getting frozen by somebody throwing a bunch of feints, those jerking feints that Floyd Mayweather throws that make you think he's about to punch. Like I said, uh, Ellis Landry Lorry doesn't do that. I think that's going to decide the fight right there. We already know that Canelo has a punching power to put Ellis Landry Lorry down. Ellis Lorry, Laura, Ellis Landry Lorry has the recoverability to come back from a punch. But can he come back from Canelo Alvarez? This is not this is not a, a El Pedro that he's fighting. I mean, this is a crisp uh, body, uh, crisp puncher who likes to work the body. And as Lindy Laura shows, a lot of times when he goes into counter punching, when you get in close on him, he'll square up. He will square up on you when he's trying to counter punch, leaving his ribs open. And, and we know Canelo is, is a body head puncher. Three, three, four punch combination. He's going body head, body head, body head, and doing damage. So, uh, in that sense, I don't think anybody's going to get knocked out. But I think when it comes to not just clean, effective punching, it's to who you would rather not be at the end of the round. Because you can land ten, uh, five or ten pop shots. I can land one bomb on you, and it makes a difference. So I think because of that, I think Canelo Alvarez is going to pull this out in a unanimous decision. Uh, I think Canelo Alvarez is going to make Ellis Landy Laura do enough running, quote-unquote, enough running in the fight to make him look like he's not engaging. And with Canelo looking like he's engaging, is going to give him the edge towards, towards round, especially if he lands any crisp punches. So I'm going to end it on that note. Again, I'm taking Canelo Alvarez. I'm going to see if I can try to stream this fight somehow real quick so I can see it tonight. Ellis Landy Laura, I like this guy. I don't think he's going to take it tonight. 78 fight news. Man, four grand, dog. Four stacks, dog. Man, I'll pray for you, man. I, I, I almost wish I, I was going for Ellis Andy Laura in this fight because you got four stacks up, man. So, uh, yeah, I'm up out of this jump. Till the next one. Doses.